Every winter, all across Ontario, including Toronto, people fall through the ice that they thought was safe to be on. In big city areas, there's a lot going on under the ice that can make it weaker than it appears to be. Most of the open water areas in Toronto that freeze collect water from the storm management system or have warm water outflows. Adding road salts and warmer water can weaken the ice from the bottom up. For all of these reasons, you should not risk going out onto the ice. But if, for some reason, you find yourself in a situation where you have fallen through the ice, there are some self-rescue tips that may help. The first thing, which may seem obvious, is to keep your head above water because you're going to have an urge to gasp for breath. It's a reflex that all mammals have, and it may be difficult to fight that urge. You have about a minute to calm yourself and get your breathing under control to avoid the effects of hyperventilation. You then have about 10 minutes left to self-rescue before your arms and legs are going to stop working. Most people lose consciousness after about an hour due to hypothermia. Once you get your breathing under control, the best way to get back to shore is to go back the way you came. You know that ice was strong enough to support you right before you went through. Get your arms up on the ice as far as possible. Kick with your legs so your body is horizontal. Drag yourself onto the ice shelf. If you continue to slip, stay calm and keep your hands in one spot until your gloves freeze to the ice. That may be enough to pull yourself out. Stay on your stomach and roll away from the edge until you think it's strong enough to crawl or walk to shore. Once you're safe on shore, get to the closest warm, dry place and change into dry clothes and immediately seek medical attention. But please, don't take the risk. Stay off the ice. <laughs>